Hello and good morning, and I'm sorry for my appearance, but um, I've had the stomach bug all week, and Gresset had the stomach bug. Nobody else caught it, just me and Gresset. I'm currently sitting in the parking lot at Starbucks, um, and I just grabbed my coffee, but I thought I'd start the vlog here. So Colton's parents are in town this weekend, and we are working on our outdoor pergola. I am still not 100%, I'm at like 85%, I think. Um, but I'm not at 100%, so I will not be fully vlogging. Also, my camera is full, um, and my battery is dead in my camera from filming a wedding last weekend that I'm still working on editing, so. Um, I'm just gonna be filming on my camera. I'm, I'm just gonna be filming on my phone today and I'm kind of laying low. I'm gonna help a little bit with the pergola, but I won't be at my 100% self. But I did wanna share what we're doing. We kind of built it, like designed it ourselves based off of some pictures that we found and are building it ourselves with the help, lots of help from Colton's dad. Um, so I'll go ahead and show y'all what the pergola is going to look like maybe, or at least our inspiration. And then um, I'll show you all the process of doing it. Right now, Colton's dad is making sure that our back, at, back our sewer line, um, that we don't hit it whenever we dig the post for it. And um, so he's using like a fish line and some kind of tool, a line finder or something. I can show you all whenever I get home um, to find the line. And then we're gonna start digging post holes and we have to like square it all out, level, all, level it all out. And he brought some tools um, from home to help us. So he works in the oil field and he's worked in the oil field for like years and years and he's done tons of projects. So he's got all kinds of tools, but this is like a, I'll have to ask him what it's called again, I forgot. But it basically just shoots a line that shows you like the levelness. Um, so we know where to put each post. Anyway, so that's what we're doing today. I got my Starbucks. It's the first time I have drank coffee in four days, um, which is a big deal for me. So I got a grande cold brew with no ice. Don't get ice in your cold brew, gross. Um, and you're wasting your money. Um, unless you like watered down coffee, then that's fine. With sweet cream, cold foam, and then a little dash of sweet cream. I probably didn't need the dash of sweet cream, but I was afraid that the cold foam wouldn't give me enough sweetness. You never know with Starbucks. It all depends on who your barista is and how they make it. This was, I mean, it tastes very coffee-like, so I like that, it's not too sweet. And the sweet cream cold foam is spot on. Sometimes it's not the best, but it is today. Anyway, I just picked up my grocery order too. It's in the back of the car. Um, I didn't have to get a lot of groceries because I didn't eat anything this week, hardly at all. But I'm gonna head back home and I'll show y'all the progress of the pergola so far basically nothing's happened other than prep work um colton's at the gym he will be back pretty soon and they should start in an hour or so and then i can show you the entire process of building the pergola so we built it for under a thousand dollars if um and it's a 12 by 20 foot pergola so it's a massive one and if we were to buy it outright and have it assembled it would cost us like two three four thousand dollars so we're definitely saving money but it's definitely not a cheap project anyway I'm gonna go ahead and try to get out of this parking lot because it's very full and I'm gonna head home. So we have it laid out right now and then we have it marked where the line is, the sewer lines, so we can't dig into those. But this is the idea. We ordered these from Toja Grid from Home Depot. And then this brand is Wild Hog, I believe. Also from Home Depot. Ooh, those are so heavy. <laughs> those are heavy. So while they're working over there, I not much help right now. So I um, got this from a friend a while back it's just like a big bucket and then I built this base for it I don't know probably last summer but I decided to fill it with sand it had water in it and the water just got gross and Boozer mainly just drank with it drink it so I filled it with sand the organic filtered sand you know the good stuff <laughs> whatever Home Depot had for kids 
And then I found this bucket. It actually came in like a big pail with all these toys for $10 at Target and I'll link it. But I'm about to show Gray and I think she's gonna be so excited. Hopefully. <laughs> it's next to the swing set. Do you see anything? What do you see? <laughs> what is it? Sand pit! <laughs> you wanna play, Grassy? Yay! Thank you, Grass. Thank yeah, you, thanks, Mama. Grass. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Do you like it? Why did you build this rock? Because you like sand. You like to put rocks in there, huh? Now you have sand. Mm -hmm. Here's a shovel. You put them in your bucket. And a scraper. Gressy. Yeah. <laughs> She's not phased by much. Yeah. Good job, Gress. You need a bucket? Good job, Good job, Ooh, watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Cause I can do this all night. Okay, so this is how far they've gotten. Half of it done. They've had to sand the ends there to get the brackets to fit because this is pressure treated wood. So it's been, it's swole, swelled, swollen, whatever. Um, so that's taken them a little bit longer. Their plan is to build the entire thing and then place it where we need it. Then move it a foot, dig the holes and then move it into the holes to level it out with the cement. But so far, it is a massive structure. <laughs> Putting the, this other side, this side right here, should be pretty quick because they've already got it. You can see they've already got the end sanded here. So this is where I've decided to park myself. There's my Starbucks that I cannot drink because I don't feel good. <laughs> At least I have a good view. Called in the reinforcements. So don't you pay them any mat. Close your eyes, follow the This one? Yeah, on this one for sure. Going closest to the house. Mm -hmm.
gets it. Okay, I'm inside right now because it's cold. But we've got the transit out there. I'm like sitting in my room. What is this gonna do, Colton? Shoot a line? What is this gonna do? It's gonna measure the depth for the other holes just but based on this one with the runoff of the ground. There you go. That's what it's gonna do. So like this tool is not something that most people would have. But it's nice that we do because then we know that everything's gonna be even. What is it? Hold on, let's, let's do it one more time. 57. <coughs> yeah, 57. It means four feet down. God bless the body. So that's out. That one out there is going to go 21 inches. Look at you. That's three inches different from where you dug that one. <laughs> three inches off, baby. Now you're only digging. Let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, we got to do this one first. No, everything's coming off of that one. Huh? So because our ground is so uneven, it goes down this way and down back that way. All the holes are going to be a different depth. You don't want to dig your holes all the same depth unless your ground is perfectly even. <laughs> that should be 17. Um, which most people's ground I wouldn't think is going to be perfectly even so so what's the difference in this hole and that hole like 10 inches 17 so what's the difference 24 and 17 is what 7 inches 7 8 inches yeah, from this first hole to oh, that man. last hole. That means that off that much. Yeah. And that's gonna be the so it's day two and I am sitting inside with my coffee. It's actually pretty cold outside, not cold, but like cold for April. It's a little ridiculous. Um, anyway, the guys are out there. I think I've shown y'all, you can't see them. Um, they're out there digging the post holes right now. So we have six post holes to dig. Um, I think I explained like how we're doing everything. <laughs> what? You bubby? There you go. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? But right now I am going to make an Amazon purchase on like the final touches that we need for the pergola. So um, we are going to put shade sails on the top of the pergola instead of slats. We just like the look of it better. We'll see how long they last. If they end up not lasting us um, through a couple summer seasons and winter and stuff, we will just put slats on the top or maybe tin on the top. We'll just have to see how that works out. But I'm gonna order those. We're gonna get string lights that are solar powered to put on. I'm ordering a hammock. I actually ordered the hammock a long time ago and it should have been here, but it got lost in translation. So you have to reorder the hammock. Um, what else are we getting? I think that's it. Just like little things. We're getting, how like eye hooks to hang the hammock and hang the shade sail. And then um, we need to go get two by fours today to finish off the back end of the pergola. Colton wants this look. I'll go ahead and put pictures um, 
he wants this look right here of what this pergola looks like. So we're going with that. Um, it would be beneficial if you were doing it and like that's where most of your sun came in. Um, in our case, that's not it. The sun actually comes in on the opposite side of the pergola. But if we put the slats there, then you wouldn't be able to see inside the pergola from the house. So that would be pointless. Anyway, that's our plan because that's our plan and hopefully by the time Colton's parents leave, we have the pergola at least set in the concrete and we can do the rest of it. But it was definitely a, <laughs> it was an adventure today like it always is. I feel like our projects never go extremely smoothly. So don't ever plan on your projects going smoothly unless you just get really lucky or you're extremely skilled. But if you're a beginner, DIYer, and you've never done something before, do not expect it to go right the first time, because it's not. And don't expect it to take as long as the tutorial says. Plan like twice as much, and then you'll be pleasantly surprised if you finish early. Our projects always take longer, and they always have bumps in the road, so. That's just from our own experience. Um, I will go ahead, I'll show you all the progress once they get all of the post holes dug. Um, right now they are on the third one and they have three more after that to go, but they shouldn't be as deep, so it shouldn't take them as long. Um, and then the only thing we need to do is get people over to move the entire pergola into the holes and then set the holes with concrete, cover, uh, then wait for it to set and then we're done. Bada bing, sounds so easy but um, I'm sure we'll hit some more bumps in the road. Anyway, just thought I'd give y'all an update. Oh, I am resting for just a minute and enjoying my coffee. I just finished cleaning. I've got two loads of laundry going, the washing machine going, all the windows open to air out the house just to kind of give it a little spring clean spruce up since I have help here to watch the girls. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today because I'm no help out there, um, not today at least. But yeah, that's your update, and we'll check in on you later. Yes, baby. You ought to be a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, I didn't level, it's gonna be the hard part. I don't know. With the cheater sheet we have, it's pretty easy. Okay, so they've got all of the posts set. They've poured concrete. We just have to go get more concrete everything's leveled out and finished so far. Colton and I can finish the rest of it with no help. Looks really good.